Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be another fun little haul. This is going to be part three of haul week and today we are going to be hauling the one, the only, pretty little thing. <laughs> This is probably the biggest bag I've ever got from Pretty Little Thing. My little weak arms are struggling so much to hold this up right now. And as you can tell, it is literally bursting to be open because there is rips all over this. So I'm just going to pop this down. But I've decided to do this video as kind of like a stand up, try on as we go along because there is a lot of items. So we're just going to do it all in one, stood here and make it a fun little talky try on video. So if you're excited to see the things I picked up from Pretty Little Thing, then just keep watching. Also just want to quickly point out that Pretty Little Thing were kind enough to give me these items. However, this video is not sponsored by Pretty Little Things. So I'm, I'm not being paid for this video. Let's just get started. Okay, so the first thing I have to show you are these white joggers. Now these are from the Miss Jocelyn collection which she brought out with PLT, which is still probably one of my favorite collections to this day. These are in a size two. They're the sort of casual drawstring joggers. Now I have not had the best experience with Pretty Little Thing joggers in the past because they never fit me and they're always way too long but these ones being a petite and a size 2 actually fit pretty well and they look really nice around the waist the only thing is the bottom of them are similar to the pink misguided ones where they don't go tight enough around my ankle so they just kind of like swing about so i'm going to try and get my dad to take a bit of the elastic off and make it a little bit tighter i am a huge fan of these joggers and they also do them in a mint green and a baby pink as well so i'm really tempted to get the baby pink ones to go with my top from my last misguided haul if you watch that i just think like it's a really nice sort of monocle chrome look and I really like these joggers. They get a big thumbs up from me. Now the next thing we have to try on I kind of bought to go as a co-ord so I picked up the white ultimate oversized hoodie because I really liked the sand when I got in my last haul. I also picked up these petite white slinky high waist cycling shorts in a size 2 because the pretty little thing size four ones are a little bit loose on me so I thought that this would be a better option but we'll try them on as a cute little co-ord and I will be right back. Okay, so this is just what the jumper looks like. It is super cosy. Again, exactly the same as the sand one which I showed in my previous Pretty Little Thing haul. Although this one's a lot easier to get off my head because the sand one, I don't know why, was like super tight around the neck. But this one's actually really nice to stretch. It goes over completely fine. And I just paired it, like I said, with these white cycling shorts. Now, when they're actually on, the colours actually don't look that bad. And to be honest, I was really expecting the cycling shorts to be see-through, but they're actually not that bad. I mean, I don't know how well it's shown up on camera, but I've had way worse than this from Pretty Little Thing. So I'm really impressed with this i'm going to try find more size 2 cycling shorts on the website because those are the ones that seem to fit but i feel like this is just a really cute little look i have something else to go along with these which i'm quickly going to show you now i picked up the cutest little pair of socks to wear with this cord and these are just the sort of repeat pattern pretty little thing ankle socks and i feel like this with some white trainers with this outfit would look really cute so i'm quickly just going to try these on and show yes okay so this is the final little fit these are what the socks look like super cute i mean Great way of showing the whole outfit there, it? Well done. I feel like if I was to just put like a little bag over the top of it, accessorize it up a little bit, put some white trainers on, then this would be a really nice outfit to go into autumn in. And I am absolutely buzzing about it. Bloody love it. Now this next thing is the lilac brushed rib long sleeve bodycon dress, again in a size 4. But this honestly is the softest material I have ever felt in my life. It's literally like a fluffy blanket. So if you want to go clubbing and you want a dress that's going to keep you warm, then this is definitely going to be that dress because... It feels so nice and cosy, but we're just gonna pop this on. And this is the cute little knitted sort of brushed ribbed bodycon lilac dress. I, oh, I love it, it's so cute. I feel like you could also button these up and kind of have it like an off the shoulder little moment. But yeah, this is really like versatile, perfect for this weather. And I honestly just can't get over how soft this is. Like you need to feel it to understand. Looks nice against the brown hair. Is that too much? I don't know, but yeah. This is a cute little winter clubbing fit and I love it. Now, the next thing I have to show you is a cute little pyjama set because I don't know why, but I lack a lot in the PJ department. So I thought I would stock myself up. This is the Sage Waffle Popper Front Long Sleeve PJ set and I got this in a size extra small. Okay, now I'd say this is an extra small. It does fit kind of big. Like, I don't really know what's going on with the top. Like, he's got kind of a little bit of a weird neckline I don't really know how you meant to style that and the shorts are like the tiniest bit big but they're not like big in the sense they're gonna drop down to my ankles but I feel like it is kind of more about comfort when you're going to sleep I feel like this definitely does that like you're not going to be uncomfortable in this it's super loose super cozy really nice and warm and surprisingly not itchy because it is that sort of waffle material so I did expect it to be a little itchy but it's not and this is a really cute pajama set I just think it does run quite big like even an extra small is a little large on me I think it's a cute fashion 
um, little PJ set. So yeah, not too mad about that. Sticking on the theme of PJs, I actually picked up a dressing gown because mine is getting a little bit worse to wear and I saw this one on PLT and I thought it was so bloody cute. Now it's not going to go with the pyjamas I'm wearing right now but I'm just going to pop it on and show you anyway. These are pretty oversized because to say this is a size small, it is quite big on me. They do this in other colours as well, I think they do it in black, they do it in pink and they do it in a lighter grey. But I just really like the sort of like mixed colours of different greys in this and it's not actually too long, like it is a reasonable length for a dressing gown. And it says pretty little thing on the back which I think is really cute. But there's not really much to say about this, I mean it's just a dressing gown, you wear it about the house, as long as it keeps you warm, it's good. But yeah, I'm absolutely sweating so I'm going to take this off and we're going to move on to oh, the next item. My wardrobe lacks some serious cosy clothes for autumn time, I literally just have strappy summer tops and that is not going to be helpful when we start to hit the lower degrees. Yeah, I picked up the oatmeal fluffy chunky roll neck jumper in a size extra small. The reason I picked up an extra small is because usually when I get roll neck jumpers, they like swallow me up. So I wanted to get the smallest size possible in hopes that it doesn't do that. Okay, this is literally like the roll neck jumper of my dreams. This is what I have wished for. I really like that it doesn't have like a sort of structured neckline. You can fold it however many times you want. You can style it however you want. Like it isn't going to stick in one place. You can move it about and it's really easy and flexible. It is super cosy. It's like a really nice loose fit. Just took it into jeans. It's got these little like like folded cuff arms honestly obsessed with this i think it is it's so cute so i wish i could afford dogs because that would look so cute with this but your gal can again you know me and my mini bags i feel like this could so easily just be styled up and you can just wear it like so and you're good to go it's just like easy transitional pieces that i'm after and this is definitely one of those and i'm pretty sure they did this in other colors as well and i'm gonna head back on there and pick some of those up because like i said the real neck of dreams. And I don't know what my habit is with always picking up tops and never picking up many bottoms, but I've just got a few to show you here. So this is the petite black high neck curved hem jumper in a size four. And I'm not gonna lie, on the website, this did look a lot thicker material, kind of like the one I'm wearing right now, but it's kind of more your sort of just flimsy, super thin. Like, I don't know if you can see that it is very see-through. It could shock me, so I guess we'll just see. Okay, so I just popped this on with joggers to try to show you a little bit better because it does have this sort of curved curve hem which goes higher at the sides and then it kind of like scoops around at the bottom which I do think is actually really flattering. I actually don't think it's as bad now that I have it on because I am wearing a nude bra and you can't see anything through it which is good. You do know what UK is like with the weather so if it is kind of one of those uh, days and you're not really sure this would be perfect because it's thin but it's also a long sleeve so you kind of like good for both. I actually really like this and I didn't think I would so Amy is shocked. Next top we have, I wanted to try this for quite a while but I've always been a little bit like mm, because it's kind of one of those where I'm like can I wear a brow of it, can I not? But this is the lemon rib knot front short sleeve crop top in size 4. I'm going to quickly pop this on and we're going to see how it looks because they had these in loads of colours so if I like this then maybe I can find more of like a autumnal appropriate colour. I'm a happy gal because this actually fits with a brow underneath and it is the cutest little yellow top in the world and you know that I'm about to go pick up all the other colours in this because I feel like it is such a flattering top. I just popped it on again with the white joggers because I feel like it is a really cute little look. I was honestly not expecting this top to look nice in the slightest but I'm very impressed and definitely, definitely, definitely want to pick up more colours in this because I've never been excited about a fit of a top this much in my life but is very nice. You know you just put something on and you're like, yes. That is what I feel like in this top. And the last top I have to show you is this burnt orange ribbed plunge cami crop top in a size 4. Now this is more of your autumnal sort of appropriate top. But it is just this super dark like orange little crop top. Nothing really much to say about that. Okay, I am actually so shocked and surprised with how many things I'm actually really enjoying the fit of. I did not think this top was going to fit like this. I thought it'd be like kind of like a loose sort of top but I'm not gonna lie I'm digging it and I really like how it is making my boobies look because trust me they're not this big. Put it on with the black joggers again I feel like this is a really cute look. Not gonna lie it was a little bit difficult to get on because it was super tight like I was like Ugh. it is worth it because it gives me boobs. <laughs> I'm just buzzing I've never been this happy with a haul before. I love it. And then the last two things I have to show you are just accessories. So I picked up a pair of heels which is are very unlike me because I cannot walk in them and I rarely go anywhere that requires heels but if you saw my old poly haul you'll see that I got the really cute sort of like black cut out dress and I realised I didn't have any black heels. I know, what girls didn't have black heels? 
me. Now these are called the Black Gilly Lace Up Block Heel and I recommend you size down in these because I bought heels in the past in my size and they've been way too big so I always size down to a size 4 in heels just because you do have a lot more room at the front and the back to you know make up for the space. I don't really know how well I'm going to be able to show you it like this because it doesn't really do it justice but I didn't want something too high because I really cannot walk in heels to save my life so I just need a nice occasion to wear this to but yeah picked up those and then the last thing I got is kind of a little bit daring but I picked up this chain padlock necklace because I wanted a gold padlock necklace for quite a while now however I've not really found one that tickles my fancy I thought I'd give this one a try because it didn't look that bad on the website but in real life this is a lot kind of <laughs> more out there than I thought it would be and it kind of looks like a tacky dress up chain so I don't know how I'm going to be able to wear this or if I will wear this but it is just this gold padlock I didn't think the chain would be this chunky so when I put it on I kind of look like I'm some next up like wannabe rapper which isn't the look I'm going for. I don't know if you can see what I mean but it's kind of just like large and in charge Um, so I don't really know if I'm a fan of this but yeah I thought I'd show you that. <laughs> that is the last thing I bought in this haul. So that was it for this pretty little thing haul. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know your favourite pieces down below and I of course will leave all the links to the items if you are interested in anything which I've shown in this video. But with that being said, don't forget to give this video a huge thumbs up, subscribe down below, let me know any videos you want to see after this haul week has finished and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! S -O -S, never guess, cause I know Mama told me that I'm blessed But he never on the show Get impressed, cause I'm dope You don't smoke, what you mean? Keep it potent as the green So you know this happy tree